Yo, hola, 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 okay, hola. You see me looking pretty, happy time is roll out. My god, the look the flicky hit you can double text. Got me out of my element. I don't wanna feel like I'm settling double text. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Morgan Flowers. If you're new here, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're not new here, hey, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me for another weekly vlog. Um, today is actually Monday, but the festivities actually low-key started yesterday. Um, we just went to um, my friend's house and we had like a little game night. Um, just a cute little vibe. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rewind. And so you guys can see a couple of those clips from yesterday. And y'all can meet me back here. Two seconds. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm just wearing this little top from Zara. It's literally just like a little crop top type of vibe. The leggings are also from Zara, but the colors are, are like off. As you can see, the bottoms are a little darker, but they look similar enough. So we're gonna wear this as a set. And then I just put my hair in a ponytail. Um, the earrings I have, sorry, it's so dark in my house. The earrings are Majori. These were like gifted and I just kept wearing them. Um, and the scent, hold on. Okay, wait, where did, where did I put it? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> this is the Zara scent, um, Orchid. It's definitely springy, floral type of vibe. It smells really nice. I gotta find the top, but yeah. Nobody else on the circle knows. Right here, what? Right here, right here. Right here. <laughs> Do something stupid. Boy, I'm gaggling. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, I'm funny. Is whoever is in the it says all players lay their phones on the table. Wait for the first person to receive a notification that person drinks. All right, wait, hold on, let me check. It's gonna be tired, bro. No, it's not. It ain't, wait, it's not gonna be good. Baby. No, put it over here. Sorry. I can't see. Lock. You know what? I got feeling it's gonna be tired. I don't think it's gonna be me. I think it's gonna be Morgan. It ain't gonna be me because all my niggas. But we in a group and you. <laughs> Tyra, Tyra Law. I said it was gonna be tired. It said, it said, we all said it was gonna be tired. It said, drink if you ever want to class high. <laughs> okay, and now that night is over, um, we had a good time. We just played this little, a couple card games. We had a little bit of hookah, and we just enjoyed each other's company. Just one of those really random nights. It was actually very random. I was in the bed, and I just ended up there by the end of the night. Um, but I actually was back in the house before 12, which I love. Okay, I love, okay, because I still slept. Um, I did wake up late because I was supposed to wake up and start my laundry. But um, it's actually like, it's literally like 9.30. Yeah, it's 9.45 now. So I woke up late, but it's okay. I guess my body needed that rest. I mean, I like to set an alarm every morning, but sometimes. Mm -hmm. So um, here I am. I'm about to do some laundry. I do have to work later. Um, Y'all, these mosquito bites. If anyone has any suggestions for mosquito bites turning into dark marks, Please let me know, cause the the way them Tulum mosquitoes bit my ankles up, yeah, bit them up. Look at this. Oh, yes, y'all, I forgot about these. Yeah, these are also mosquito bites that turned into dark marks. So please let me know if you have a solution, because they tore my body up. Okay. <laughs> um, but yesterday was Sunday. I uploaded a vlog. If you didn't see that, go ahead and check it out. Um, I uploaded a vlog and. Yeah, I, I, I hopped right off the Tulum plane. I edited that footage from Tulum. I had that out to you guys the next day, and then I started a new vlog. It was literally from Wednesday, because I landed on Tuesday. So the next vlog was literally from Wednesday to Saturday. And um, it was cute. I was happy that I was able to push the two out. I did film a video yesterday, too. So I literally have two video. Yeah, I literally have two videos in the cut waiting for to, to be posted. So... I'm excited because I love not being backed up. I mean, I still have to edit the video, so I am still a little backed up. But for the most part, I like just being able to push the content and get it out to you guys and not have to worry about, oh my gosh, what am I going to film, yada, yada. Like, it's done. Relax. So I'm going to end up coming back after my laundry and just starting on the editing so that this Wednesday you guys can have something and I don't have to worry about much. Like, it's already done. So um, I'm excited, and we're off to the start. August is coming. Okay, we're more than halfway through the year. That's crazy. We're in the eighth month already. Y'all, my birthday's at the end of the year. I'm going to be 26. Like, please, 
please God, please relax just a little bit. Like slow down time just a little bit because time is moving now. I'm, I'm pushing 30. <gasps> it is Tuesday um as you guys can see I just had breakfast and stuff I had my avocado toast y'all know the drill um I actually made my matcha th this morning I didn't finish it I have two meetings that I really don't feel like doing but I just told myself I'm trying not to say that I don't feel like doing stuff because like it makes me go into stuff once I'm lazy and like not in the mood negative stuff you know what i'm saying like if i sit here like oh i don't feel like doing it i don't feel like it i'm gonna keep saying it and then i go into my meeting on some like <sighs> like you know what i'm saying i'm trying not to say i don't feel like it and just say like okay let's just knock this out and let's just get it over with i like i said i have two meetings that are literally back to back um a couple months ago literally like last year I started someone was that last year what's what year is it it's 2022 right so last year i started someone's website but she wasn't quite ready yet so um she put like her deposit down and then i we went over the meeting yada 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 but she wasn't ready like she wanted to get her pictures and stuff like that so she reached she reached she recently reached back out to me about her site just getting it completed and saying that she was like more ready for it so i'm gonna do her site but honestly y'all i haven't done a website in a very long time i'm really not like pushing that anymore I just, I, yeah, I don't, I don't picture myself doing sites and stuff. I don't know. I'm all over the place, clearly. Um, like a little bit of everything at this point, but, but it was a B. But um, I'm just gonna do her site and then finish that off. I did just like brainstorm some stuff in my computer, just like writing some stuff down. I did a little journaling this morning. Um, I think I was telling you guys, just having the journal in my face makes it much easier. Like, okay, Morgan, your journal's right here. Just jot down your thoughts. So I basically just wrote pretty much that in there. Like, I'm gonna try not to say, like, I don't feel like it anymore. Cause that really alters my mood, honestly. And then you go into stuff on some negative stuff, you know? So um, that was like my goal for that. But I'm gonna finish her site, hopefully soon so i can get that out of the way I, honestly um i do have a video shoot this weekend um that i was booked for um and that's literally all day saturday like really all day because it's a whole like event event saturday we have some stuff to do on saturday i actually have i have stuff to do all week i just skipped a whole bunch of days i have something to do on thursday I have some content to make with Mike Up With Monty on Thursday and then I have content with my dad on Friday. So and then Saturday is an event I'm recording. So it's just I'm busy. But again, I'm trying not to tell myself that I don't feel like doing stuff. <laughs> Cause then it's like Morgan, just get it together. Just do it. Um, but my, my SIM card is actually on my SD card is actually full. I literally have like three minutes left in my SD card worth of footage. So I need to delete some stuff. So I'm gonna do do that. The, the meeting is literally in seven minutes. Um, I can delete stuff in seven minutes. All right, bye. See what happens when you be dramatic. <laughs> it's 11.10. My first meeting is done. 
I'm sitting here like, I don't really feel like it. It's 10 minutes. <laughs> um, but it was really 10 minutes. Well, it's usually just short anyway because what I do when I'm doing, when I were, when I was doing websites, I would basically just write down all the questions that I wanted to ask. And they're simple one answer questions. Like, it'll be like, well, what do, what's your colors for your site? What's something that you want? Do you want this on your site? Do you want that? Do you have any questions? Like, you know, it's very basic. And since we already did a meeting from last year, I was just like going over the questions just to make sure everything was still the same. And um, just typing up exactly like, literally just typing up her new answers. Oh, you can't even see it. But anyway, just typing up her new answers. And, but all the, all the stuff was pretty much still the same. She just, um, only a very few things changed basically. So it was a really short, really quick to the point email uh, meeting. I actually ended up writing down some ideas that I had on my own so that I could just it make it easier for me to just do it so I'm gonna start that because knowing me I get carried away busy with everything oh my nail I just keep bending my nail it needs to just come off it's this one this middle nail as you guys can it was literally like cracked you it's looking at it was cracked so I just basically just peeled it but I keep bending it back and it's hurting yeah just 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 take it off but it literally keeps like bending and it's hurting like please i need to get my nails done clearly how am i gonna go out with my nails looking like these but i'm gonna tune in with y'all a little bit later i'm gonna start on some work so what i was trying to do at the start of each week just as like a content creator i try to plan out the content that i'm gonna do for each week so what i was trying to do at one point was two tiktoks a day or monday through friday two tiktoks and then saturday and sunday I would do one post one TikTok and nothing post nothing on Instagram but Instagram Monday through Friday I post once a day like on my page whether it's a real or whether it's a like a stagnant a stagnant post static post so I wrote down all that stuff sorry I'm trying to like peel this nail off at this point but I wrote down all that stuff yesterday just to make my life a little bit easier so I literally have a structure and I'm literally just checking off as I go. Like I posted three times yesterday, two TikToks, one once on Instagram, and then and then today is Tuesday, so I have I'm gonna do a photo dump on, from Tulum today on Instagram. I'm gonna just do like a little photo dump, just like cute moments, aesthetically pleasing moments from Tulum, and then TikTok. I I have like a draft in my TikTok. And then I actually found something that a trend in sound that I actually just put I actually just drafted something yesterday. So I may just post that as a TikTok today. So I'm trying to keep a structure. Ah, I'm trying to keep a structure here and um just be consistent. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna just draft up. Oh, I have to edit my YouTube video for tomorrow's when tomorrow's Wednesday. So I'm gonna just work on a bunch of different things until my meeting at 12, which is that meeting is for my job. So I'm going to work on some stuff until then. So I'll talk to y'all later. Mama, my mind, I'm feeling high. My money's gone. I'm all alone. To my shoes, hey. The world keeps turning. Oh, what a day. What a day, what a day. Keep the blessings manifest with every lesson learned. Give your knowledge where you will and it would be well earned. If we were made in his image, then call us by our name. Those intellects do not believe in God, but they hear us just the same. Oh, oh no, no, no. My God, I keep saying my life's a rolling stone. Oh, oh no, no, no. um it is Wednesday and I just sat here and I just did some content I actually had I told you guys I got gifted uh oh I got gifted the hyper skin it's a cleanser and then I got a vitamin C serum so I just showed myself using those and um, I actually started filming that when I was in Tulum but I didn't complete it basically I was just showing it off in an aesthetically pleasing way maybe I'll just use that content for my story and then, like, I didn't show myself actively using the products. So I was like, okay, well, maybe I should do it the right way. <laughs> uh, so I just did that in this morning. And then I always have a vision 
of some sort like of a TikTok or something so I just made a TikTok um, idea and I also like I wanted to talk to TikTok for a second but I was gonna say it to you guys first um, if you're a content creator and you're trying to grow your platform yada 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 um, I would say like try talking to the camera a little bit more than just doing um, using trending sounds I got this tip from actually another TikToker, but I found that it makes so much sense because when you think about like people with personalities, people that grew their platforms on TikTok, they are showing their personalities. I can think of so, I was literally sitting here when I was thinking about the, like talking to TikTok, I was thinking about so many, um, so many TikTokers that I can give you guys examples for that show their personality that got huge off of TikTok. Number one. Tabitha Brown. We all know her for being like very motherly, very warm and welcoming and friendly and kind and loving. Like we associate that with her personality. When she got on there and she was making her cooking videos and she was giving advice and talking to TikTok, that's her personality. Her personality showed through the screen. So that's a part of the reason of why people were able to relate to her and to, gra to gravitate to her basically. And you think about, um, who else did I think about? Monet McMichael. If you guys know who who that TikToker is, um, she's actually from Jersey. <laughs> She'd be at the mall like near me or whatever. So I was like, oh my gosh, she's like right there. That's so funny. Um, but she shows her personality a lot, a lot when she does her makeup videos and she does her um, she does like con just content in general. So she's always showing her personality and voiceovers, not voiceovers, but just talking to the camera. So people are able to gravitate to her personality. Um, who else? Dre Brown. If you guys know, um, what's his what's his famous TikTok? Oh my gosh, y'all don't tell me. Don't let my class fool you. I love the hood jam. You know, body special. Like that's Dre Brown, but his personality shows in everything that he posts. Every little thing that he's every time he's talking to the camera, he's he's showing his personality and he's being bubbly and funny and maybe a little smart and elite. Like he has that brand. Um, his personality shows that like He's working that like corporate job. So like if you can relate to him in those ways, then you can it's easier to gravitate to him as well. Um, e Kane, if you think about E Kane, like her personality is so careless and so like reckless. And people will love that because maybe they can relate to it. So like show your personality more. Talk to the camera. Like I'm really trying to get into the habit of just hopping on there and just chatting, talking. Um, being myself more importantly because I think that that's that that's what people are attracted to it's not really your looks it's not your mini vlogs it's like who you are and having allowing people to relate to you in other ways other than just seeing what you're doing you know what I'm saying so I'm trying to really focus on just transforming my TikTok into something more relatable and just letting the audience get to know me a little bit more like I just posted that I reached my 2k on TikTok and a, a bunch of people were saying congratulations and just like people being able to know me. That's something that people know about me now. Like, okay, cool, she's a YouTuber. She just made this video. Or like the other videos I'll be having in mind, like to just to talk about, just to allow myself to let my audience get to know me and see a different side of me other than just trending sounds, you know? So I did film like a little talkative type of one. I actually have a couple that I filmed and I was gonna make a mini vlog this morning. I was like, Morgan, you have so much content. Like I need you to relax. Cause it just keeps building and building and building. So I basically just, um, I just talked about this, the hills that I bought, the Song of Style hills. Um, I just talked about these on TikTok because I realized I didn't do any type of like unboxing, anything special for TikTok to um that people will want to save you know and i think that's the goal with tiktok too people you want people to save your videos you want people to be able to come back to you and go to you for advice like you want people to be able to like relate to you and i was like you know what let me just talk about these shoes and just talk about different things so that people are able to really like flock to me in different ways so again sorry for my rant y'all i just had to explain it break it down because i had the, the thought in my mind so i kind of needed to <laughs> um the lighting is just all over the place i look really orange for some reason i ain't that orange and it's not the vitamin c serum <laughs> no um but um again i hope y'all get what i'm saying but yeah so for now um i was gonna y'all this this woman does yoga in the park every wednesday and i keep telling myself i'm going to go and i have not been yet but again, I need to go get a yoga mat. And it was one week I was ready to go and they weren't having it that particular week. They were taking like a break. So I didn't go this week 
clearly or today i should say because it's they do it early in the morning it's like 9 30 yeah i think they do it early in the morning so i'm going to try to go that go to that and show you guys the vibes for yoga in the park i haven't really done yoga i'm not really a yoga yoga girl but i'm really interested in going and just being out in nature i think that that's really what's pulling me to it just wanting to get more grounded literally so i will go make my breakfast because i literally got up washed my face got right into content so let me go eat and i will tune back into y'all later so i wanted to ask y'all how do y'all feel about um ads like the like commercial ads like you have the skippable ads and then you have the non-skippable ads skippable ads <laughs> which ones do y'all like because you know as a as the youtuber i can choose which ones i put on my screen and i notice and maybe sometimes you may notice that sometimes they're not skippable but y'all i don't know if this is gonna be an unpopular opinion i prefer non-skippable ads <laughs> because first of all y'all they be just like a couple seconds and usually when i'm watching youtube videos i'm doing something so like say if i'm cooking or like say if i'm putting my laundry away or like if you guys saw in my previous i think it was my previous vlog when i was like watching chelsea and i had like i was doing my laundry and stuff um but it was just easy just to let the ads play rather than me stop what i'm doing go skip the ad if you don't skip the ad it's gonna be on for another minute you know what i'm saying so when it's not skippable at all i just can just do what i want i gotta see the ad anyway it'll be a couple seconds it might be like two five second ads i don't mind a little 10 seconds like i prefer non-skippable ads like when i'm watching people's youtube videos because it just it just makes my life easier i don't have to stop what i'm doing to go and skip the ad like that's so y'all that's so annoying like if i'm doing something and I gotta be like, oh my god, I gotta skip the ad. I gotta get up, go to my computer, skip the ad. Like, please, just make them non-skippable. But let me know what y'all like because I know what I prefer. This is why, like, sometimes I switch it up um, between non-skippable ads and both. It may have both in there. It may just have skippable ads. Like, I, I just do it differently sometimes. But I want y'all opinion because I know I like, I prefer the non-skippable ones. But that's just me. But y'all, um, my complex closed the pool for the entire summer they're not opening at all i think that's just the ghetto i just think that that's just not that's a part of the reason why i'm in this complex so i can get in the pool like what y'all mean to tell what y'all mean i can't ever touch the pool this summer it's hot you know what i'm saying i hate that now i gotta go to somebody else's complex to get in the pool um but basically i know that they were struggling with finding a lifeguard but it's crazy like i drive by other complexes and they got lifeguards why are we the only complex having trouble with lifeguards like ugh, i just hate it oh wow wow i was just thinking about going to the beach instead honestly y'all um my friends and i were all trying to go to the beach but honestly we can never get our schedules all together like on the same day like my friend asked about this friday but i have to work friday and i also i'm doing content with my dad already that morning um so it's like friday i'm not even free and then but i think they're all free on friday so i don't know if they're still gonna go without me <laughs> but they are all free so i'm just like well maybe i'll just go to the beach myself like i did last summer if you guys remember if i can find a vlog i'll card it but i went to the beach just like a solo beach trip and i liked it i just i mean you know i gotta drive up there by myself <laughs> but um it was like a beach that you have to pay for but it was just it's so super serene and quiet and peaceful and i just bought some like fruit in a little i put like fruit in a little bowl i bought like a drink um then when i went up then when i got there i got um like french fries like i got like a little snack or whatever um and it was just quiet i actually had a meeting that day too so like i was just doing some work i really enjoyed it i mean the sand beside the sand um i enjoyed it just going by myself so maybe i'll end up doing that and just have some like peace and quiet i guess maybe do some journaling and um but i don't know that's just a thought but anyway, I'm rambling. I'm actually about to do some work because I recorded some of that content. So I'm about to edit it so I can put it on my Instagram story. And then I can have a reel for today as well. So, um, yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. Hey, y'all. Good morning. It's Thursday. Um, I actually just, I have a video shoot this morning with the Mic'd Up With Monty platform. And um, we're basically going to a couple different places. She wants to do like a spend the day with me type of vibe um so we're going to a couple different locations the first one we're going to stop at they're all like black owned businesses around philadelphia so if you guys are in the philadelphia south jersey area there will be some new places for you guys to try um the first place we're going to is juiced by b um which is a juice bar and um i think that t Mont or tara or t monty knows the um the the owner so 
we're gonna just get some vibes i'm gonna let you guys know which places that we're going to like i'm gonna just put it on the screen so you guys can get a vibe of the location just in case you're ever here ever visiting want to see what good places to to stop by and stuff like that so i will tune back in with y'all later um it's about 9 30 in the morning so i have to work later so we're gonna knock this out but keep watching It's about 9.40. I wanted to do kind of like a soft unboxing. And I'm calling it a soft unboxing. <laughs> unboxing because I'm not trying to... I need to redo the unboxing. Because I kind of want to do it for TikTok too. Um, and I was thinking to myself yesterday, y'all. I have so much... Why am I trying to split this with my nail? Do I have a pen? Where my pen at? I don't feel like getting up for it. Oh, wait. Okay. I got some scissors. <laughs> but um, what I was trying to say is like... I have so much content to make tiktoks and stuff out of like i need to slow down especially from tulum it's like i don't want to burn y'all out with the tulum stuff but like it's <laughs> i didn't even do like an official mini vlog of the trip yet and i need to at least try to do that so um i do have some stuff to do but this was one of the things that i wanted to unbox on tiktok i got a little pr um gift this is from um I told you guys before I'm like an ambassador for Ali Oop, which is like a makeup brand. Um, they they really do a bunch of different stuff. It's honestly like very versatile. Um, my code is always in the description box. But like, oh, they made it. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay, okay. So it just says a moisture eye a moisturizer eye cream and mask blended together in a cloud like fluffy cream. So basically, this is a three in one product. And you know we be a little scared of three and three and ones because of we think of when i think of three and ones i think of like body wash shampoo conditioner like no but this type of three and one i'm looking forward to this one because we love just making skincare a little bit easier um but i was just y'all look at me in the stickers i told you guys stickers uh okay anyway but i was smiling because it has like my name on it <laughs> Y'all, I love personalized stuff. Come on, focus, child. I know it's bright. All right, there we go. So as you can see, like, okay. <laughs> Here, it has, like, my name on it. Hey, y'all. Thank you. <laughs> so it says, hi, Morgan. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much for being part of the Ali Oop Ambassador community. We adore you. So excited to introduce to you our new dream team, a 3-in-1 moisturizer, eye cream, and mask that works like a dream to smooth, hydrate, and boost skin health. So I'm not going to read the whole thing because it's, like, three more paragraphs. But it just says, um... Oh, it says, also, thank you for recently joining us on Geneva. We have some exciting opportunities and prizes that will be shared, shared, tied to launch, and yada, yada, yada. So, it's so, okay, okay. Okay, so this is what it looks like inside. So, it's basically, like, refillable. So, you're going to put this little tube inside of here. And, um, yeah. So, but I've been watching the other girls, like, do it and whatnot. When the dream becomes reality. <clears throat> Okay, so this is this card here is of course different than the Morgan card, but this one basically just explains to you what's inside, which each product, what the products have as far as ingredients, what the ingredients do. It says high molecular weight hyaluronic acid. It also has plant derived squalene. I had a different, I had a squalene product, if that's how you pronounce it. I had a product from Paula's Choice, I think it was. It had squalene in it. Um, macadamia nut oil, which nourishes the skin um so yeah i'm excited so this retails for 35 dollars as far as the full size goes the mini is 12 and the refill is 30. so 
let's take i'm uh, i wanted to do okay what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take it out the box for y'all but i'm gonna put it back in so i can do the tiktok <laughs> if i can i don't want to destroy the box of course because i want to redo it oh oh it's hurting my ears you what's the one thing that you know how when something squeaks it like hurts your ears for me what always bothers my ears are cotton balls oh my gosh please keep them away from me just keep them away because i can't they hurt my ears so bad i know some some people say like nails on the chalkboard and like all those typical things i'm scared because this one just just hurt my ears too this squeaking sound like ugh. i was watching kyra Aminique's vlog the other day and she was opening something and i was like oh my gosh like <laughs> okay oh my gosh okay y'all so okay so i can't um open this without ruining the package because the way this is in here is it's like it's like a, it's like something right here so i would have to like pull it up in order to open it but y'all get the gist basically so i'm gonna end up doing a full a more clear unboxing um on tiktok so that i can really introduce the product and just basically get some content out for ali oop because they do they require like once a month so I want to hurry up and get this posted before the month is over. I probably should post more about them more often just so that people are um, not afraid to use or click on my coupon code. Um, if you guys ever checked out the website. I really like their products. I've been meaning to... Um, I showed y'all this before. I've been meaning to use this. I bought this to Tulum with me. But I had just so much content planned. Like I had so much, so many ideas. I didn't even get to everything. But this is one of the ideas I wanted to do. Um, basically this is just a hand wash. I showed y'all this before. Or it's a hand face scrubber that you would use for your face wash. Or um, just, or you can wash your body with it, whatever. Because it has like this exfoliating, um, this like textured side to it. So I meant to use this at some point. I'm, I'm going to make some content with this because I just been, that's the reason I picked it. Because I was like, okay, cool. I can make this very like scrubby and whatever. Even if it's like a shower routine type of thing. Um, okay, cool. So basically, I just noticed these things. It literally says exfoliate right here. Like you exfoliate with this side, I guess. And then this side says cleanse. <laughs> so um, don't my nails need to be done, y'all. My nails are crazy. Um, but yeah, so that's basically that's Ali Oop. Don't forget to check out my coupon code, y'all. I think that um, you guys will like some of the products. They do they do a variety of things, y'all. I use their makeup. This is a three and like they do everything. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. Makeup, brushes, they got the three and one. Like, all right, I'm done talking about Ali Oop, but <clears throat> I'm gonna put my little stickers on my little planner. Y'all, I've been loving the stickers. Like, I like when brands give me stickers. Thank you. I like y'all. No, um, <laughs> I'm gonna show you my sticker book so far. I'm screaming at all my stickers. This is, I, I showed y'all this before. I just put the hyper, the last ones I added were the hyper skins. So now I'm gonna. <laughs> Oh, why are other brands doing this? Are they having like secret meetings and it's discussing like what's trending? Stickers are trending. Anyway, <clears throat> so I'm gonna just um I did have a shoot with my dad this morning, but well not it was gonna be this afternoon at twelve, but he decided to cancel. So no dad content this week for you guys who like my dad content. Um my dad changed his mind. He's just been kind of indecisive about what he wanted to do which is why um it just kind of didn't work out so tomorrow i do have an event i was asked to record for an event so I'll, i'm not sure if i explained that to you guys already but i'll be i'm um, showing you guys kind of glimpses of that event um it's literally like all day so i'm gonna have a, a decent amount of content to show you guys it's always a vibe i've been to her events before she's like a, um she does she does so much she's like a, a she's a mental health advocate she's like a um She's a therapy advocate. She just basically really speaks life into people. And um, I always love her events. I've been to two of them so far. And we're going to do that tomorrow. And then we're supposed to, me and my friends are supposed to be going out tomorrow too. After, like tomorrow night. So tomorrow's going to be a little vibe. I think. <laughs> I hope. Sorry y'all. I'm waiting for something on my computer. But um, stay tuned for this weekend. It's me decorating this, literally decorating this whole book with stickers. But okay, I'm done talking to you guys. I'll talk to y'all a little later. I'm trying to film <laughs> the story for Instagram of this. As y'all can see my setup, I'm screaming. Basically, you know, I want the white bed background. So I'm trying to record it, but y'all, I hate the Instagram voice. I hate it, like I sound crazy. Okay, let me try again.
oh my like I can't stand like that one of my favorite brands ever just dropped a three-in-one product this is a moisturizer <laughs> a moisturizer <laughs> uh, okay this is like take four all right let me delete this just delete it a moisturizer okay <clears throat> maybe I should take a picture what y'all think just take a picture Morgan no I want to do a video all right So one of my favorite brands ever just dropped a three-in-one product. This is a moisturizer. If I say that wrong one more time, if I say it wrong one more time. Okay, so my favorite, <laughs> y'all, I'm cutting this, cut. One of my favorite brands ever just dropped a three-in-one product. This is a moisturizer, eye cream, and face mask all blended together in one. We love that. What that sound like to y'all? That sound corny. <laughs> All right, let me just try. That was okay, but let me try one more time. One of my favorite brands ever just dropped a three-in-one product. It's a moisturizer, eye cream, and face mask all in one. We love it. It's refillable too. Like, <laughs> I hate it. So one of my favorite brands ever just dropped a three-in-one product. This is a moisturizer, an eye cream, and a mask called the Dream Team, and it's also refillable. So, yes. Love. Okay, that one wasn't bad. Let me listen to it now. One of my favorite brands ever just dropped the three in one. Product. My air is on. My air. So the air went off, but now it's a lawnmower. So we're just gonna go with the other one. Okay, we're going with that last one. Okay, before I go officially, I feel real close. Okay, let me back up. <laughs> but before I go officially, I wanted to just say if you're not subscribed to me yet and you made it this far, what you doing <laughs> it's free it's free um but i wanted to just jump on here really mainly just to say that like <laughs> if you have me on instagram then you would have saw my um me post my grandma's review of my tulum vlog i'm gonna card my to my tulum looks i'm sorry i'm gonna card the tulum looks at the top um because it just was so um heartwarming like and i posted it on instagram and everyone's like oh my gosh this is so cute <laughs> i love you grandma all right anyway i'm gonna read it and um and i'm i'm like morgan please like i don't know what what's today what's today because like goodness gracious that it made me just it just made me happy really just like reading it again like i was laughing at it but it was just like it made me happy so i'm gonna read it okay 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 so she said <laughs> she said thank you to air went off Whew. she said hi babe just tapped into your styles for tulum and i thought i weigh in lol First of all, your style descriptions were on the money. The company should hire you for that skill alone, LOL. So there are a couple outfits that I did, that I liked more than others, of course. The skirt with the satin top was really cute and the swim set with the flowing cover up um, with the view of the val with the view of the balcony, I thought looked so exotic. I like the green full length dress with your hair up and the accessories. That was a really nice look. I like the she said and I like the pleated pants outfit because it provided stylish simplicity. I think the top with the feminine with its feminine boldness helped to bring out the simplicity simplicity and stylishness of the pants. Lastly, thank you so much for wearing underwear with that yellow outfit because with that very high split, even at a glance, I think there was a tad too much being revealed with the rolling eyes emoji. She was like, Love you much. <laughs> so each time every time I read that, y'all, I just start laughing, but like it's just the little things I feel like like that just it makes me happy <laughs> but I thought it was so funny because like I knew like you know as a grandma somebody actually commented was like I thought she was going to give you like the grandma spiel like why are you on here like like I thought they were going to be more like grandma -ish, um in a negative way because I feel like that is very like judgmental that's the judgmental grandmoms the ones that be like well why would you be on here wearing it like you know my, but my grandma's not like that you know she's very um understanding of me and just loving of me in general so um you know she throws her opinions which i always appreciate i love when she gives me like my reviews and stuff <laughs> my youtube video reviews um but i thought that was so funny i wanted to share that with you guys because i put it on instagram like i said so i was like let me tell youtube just in case you did watch the tulum vlog or the tulum outfits video i keep saying tulum vlog but just in case you did watch the tulum outfits video and you know what she's talking about like i was like okay i had to put the panties on with the yellow dress because the yellow dress was real i didn't know the split was gonna be that high 
it was a little high y'all i'm not gonna lie and like i said in the video i was literally walking hold like as i was walking i was holding down the dress because i was like I, I it's a little it's a little too much going on and just being in another country you feel even more self-conscious um but one thing that i always say about vacations is like it's some things i wear on vacations that i would never wear at home <laughs> like <laughs> that's just how it goes um like i have certain like if i if i know i'm going to miami you gonna know the Miami dresses, the Miami looks. Like, it's very, like, cute. It's very, like, yeah, she look good. Like, it's very much like that. Tulum is very flowy. It's a lot of, like, uh, like, vacation just gives me that vibe in general. Um, but I would never wear that dress again. I may actually, um, I should put some stuff on my Depop. I actually should. I put. I should put some of them pieces on my Depop because I don't feel like I'm gonna wear, at least that yellow dress, I'm probably not gonna wear that again. Um, and it's funny, like, I was going through my archive Instagram videos, and I was, and I was, um, a couple years ago, it had to be, like, from 2020, um, my friend's birthday was actually yesterday, so that's why I was going through my archives, because I was looking for, like, kind of stuff with her in it, but anyway, um, I was looking through the stuff, and I saw some posts that I was, when I was reselling stuff, and I was, like, just trying to get rid of some stuff in my closet, I was trying on everything, just to so, show my audience, like, this is what it looks like, this is my size, like, I literally tried on everything, so maybe I'll do that again, and just make it, like, an Instagram type of series for the day, like, okay, these are the things that I'm selling, this is available on my Depop, yada, yada, yada. Um, so I'm gonna, my Depop is in my link tree, so I'm gonna put my link tree in the, um, in the pin tweet in the pin um comment so check the pin comment for my link tree and i will um include my depop it's a lot of stuff on there i don't really post on it as much i did tell me, i did have someone tell me i should switch to like a, um um was it poshmark um poshmark like they sell people people sell a lot of stuff on poshmark i know but i tried to get into it before and it wasn't really given but i just stick with depop because it's just convenience like i just already had one so if you have a depop don't be afraid to check my stuff out. I got some stuff in there that I actually just literally don't wear. Um, and if that stuff doesn't go, I'm literally just going to give it away. Because it's like just sitting in my closet at this point. So, I'm done talking. For real, for real. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Just in case you don't have me on Instagram. Which you should. But, you know, that's a different story. Okay, I keep saying I'm done. But just one last thing. <laughs> Y'all bought some new shoes. I showed them on Instagram already. But just look at these. Just, just, just look. Are these not the cutest? Wait, let, let let the camera focus for a second. As you guys can see, okay, it's like a twist. Let me put. Let me just show you one. So it's a towel material. Focus on the shoe. Okay, it's a towel material, right? Pointed toe. It has like this twisted feature, or this twisted detailing. I guess I should say. And these are from Public Desire. Um, I got them off of the ASOS website, but like just look at how pretty these shoes are they kind of look like they're too big but it's really the pointed toe um i'm a size six. Oh, this says a four but when you order online i guess it's just the sizing in maybe a different country but i ordered like a six and it looks like it's too big but it's really just a pointed toe so let me put them on and y'all when i tell you comfortable they're comfortable like i be scared of heels sometimes because i can't walk the best i'm not the best walker in heels <laughs> um i'm trying to get there but i keep ordering heels and i be scared that they're not going to be comfortable and i'm gonna break my ankle i'm putting them on right now so i can show y'all in the mirror um but these are just the cutest the absolute cutest look at hold on wait let me let me move my foot all the way in <laughs> But like they are just too my foot ain't my foot isn't all the way up. But anyway, y'all get the point. They are just too cute. Like such a statement. Like imagine me like with these little blue tile heels. These are just so cute in there. Like I said, I don't know if they're comfortable because it's a mule. But like, yes. Oh my gosh. I keep saying my foot's not all the way in. I gotta push my foot up somewhere. But like, ugh, so comfy. And I think these come in like a wide version. Maybe I think these might be the wide version. I'm really not 100% sure. But I'm obsessed. I can't wait to wear them. And again, comfortable. Like I can almost do a little like, all right, Morgan, that's enough. All right, anyway. <laughs> anyway, I love these a whole, whole lot. Um, like I said, Public Desire, I have the link below. If anyone's interested, I didn't see another color. 
um when i ordered the other shoes what are they called um the other shoes from song of style that i got for, from tulum with the little wood heel um i was disappointed because i couldn't get like a blue so i was like i was just looking up blue heels and i came across these and they are just the cutest i love this tile look this like twisted like it's just so cute i can't wait to wear them <laughs> okay that was my last thing so cute y'all at least go check out well i won't say ch check out the heel because these were at, oh my gosh what also drove me to these they were cheap like they were on sale like i was like oh babe i love a little cheap heel that's really cute a statement oh yeah for sure i love it <laughs> hey y'all good morning it's saturday i'm getting ready to head to um the shoot that i have to do i'm just literally wearing this shirt and those pleated pants from tulum and um of course i have my camera and everything i'm just getting gas right now and um y'all my nails broke but right but look my nail is green and that was a part of the reason why i took this one off like i literally just peeled it off yesterday because you can see through it like this one is green too like it's slightly i'm like why is that happening so of course i googled it if you if it's ever happening you please let me know but i googled it and it was like something about when water gets trapped under the nail the real nail and the fake nail and you have to wait for the green to grow out bro this is ugly this is ugly i might never get my nose again <clears throat> me being dramatic but like ugh. but anyway um i just put a little gas in my tank as i said but i'm getting i'm gonna be a little early on purpose of course because i want to be able to kind of get the vibe um but it's gonna be a nice event i'm pretty sure from the event excuse me well i've been back home for some time now but i'm actually about to go out so i figured i would just check i i figured i would just check in with you guys for a second and just say hello so you guys won't be confused as to like well what's she doing what yeah so we about to go out now and i took my other nail off again this one is green like i hate that okay here's my look of the night let me pull this down child um, but basically this is just a Zara dress that I cut up a little while ago. So basically what I did to it is I just added these like safety pins. I cut the sides here just to give it a little bit more of a flare because it was like a midi dress type of thing. And then I added safety pins to the bottom. My nails are, pff, anyway. <laughs> so silver jewelry, of course, just to go with the, um, silver vibe here. I decided to keep my hair up. If it gives me a headache, I'll put it back down. Um, just plain hoops. And like I said, silver jewelry. And I'm actually wearing a pair of sneakers. Um, just to make the look a little bit more casual. Um, and I'm going to keep having a, to adjust, adjust this. Because like, you know, like your underwear line shows. I actually hate that. <laughs> guys <laughs> it's sunday morning uh, yesterday my camera ran out of storage because i was filming that video i was filming that event on my sd card and it just ran out of storage so but it wasn't much to, thank you the air went off but it wasn't much to see honestly y'all i was back in the house by 12 we went to this place that's that was like in philly or whatever and it was just it wasn't it basically it wasn't the vibe so we ended up just leaving and I came back home. I didn't waste it, my little dress, my little outfit. Um, but I didn't take any pictures or anything, but yeah, so it was a waste of a night basically. I could have just stayed my behind the house. <laughs> but you know, it was cool. Um, so we didn't really do didn't do much yesterday. Today, as you guys can see, I just made a uh, fake breakfast. Y'all, I made some potatoes and then I started putting some stories. My phone is on the floor. I started putting some stories on my Instagram. I started putting some stories on my Instagram, so um, 
I got distracted. My food got cold. My my drink was cold. It just was like it wasn't given. So basically, I was distracted because I was trying to figure out. Um, I was trying to do a poll to see if anyone on Instagram would join like a um, a uh, vision board party because I did one a couple years ago. I think I explained this to you guys before, like in the old vlog. But I was like. Would y'all come to my vision? Like, would you be interested in something like that? Because it was so fun the last time I did it. And it's funny, me and the, me and my friend Mecca were talking about it yesterday. She put the bug, like, back in my ear. She said, you should do that again. And I was like, yo, that's so funny because I was thinking about it. So, um, I've been thinking about just trying to vision board party again. And just, like, but my only thing is I would have to rent out a space. So, that's the only thing. Like, I would have to, like, start the hunt for that soon. Um, because um, last time I did it in my house, I can't do it here. It's too small. So, um, I've just been thinking about doing something like that. Just something fun, something inclusive, something um, that I can have fun with too because one of the funnest part about it was the shopping part. Printing out all the pictures, sourcing the magazines, like going to get like a bunch, I got like a bunch of the different little like crafts. I had like markers and I bought like a bunch of Sharpies and I bought the actual vision boards. I just used like the stretched canvas um, for the vision board. I wish I still had one, but I don't because it was in my old place. So I'm looking forward to making one again. Hopefully people would come to something like that if I were hosting it. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Thinking about it. Um, of course you guys will be updated on if I do if I do the vision board party. Um, of course if you're in the South Jersey area, stay on stay on the lookout because um, I would definitely be just inviting um, people in general. So that's about it. I'm not doing nothing today, y'all. I actually have a lot, a lot of work to do. I have literally like four projects to do. One of them being a YouTube video. I have two videos to edit. And then I have a website to finish. So I have so much to do today. And it's literally going on 11 o'clock already. Yeah, it's 1045. So this week is going to be hectic in my mind. So I'm trying to... I do have a video already filmed for Wednesday. I just have to edit it. I'm not looking forward to that. So hopefully that video will be out. If not, that's just because the week was crazy. Um, so I have a lot to do week i'm gonna get started on that and i thank you guys so much for watching as always and i hope hope to see you guys in my next video make sure you leave a comment make sure you're subscribed and i'll see y'all next time bye Double text. Got me out of my element. i don't want to feel like i'm selling. Double texting me.